This is Jamie from Stonemaier Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in Noctiluca, an abstract game that I played for the first time at Geekway to the West recently with a total of uh, what it, either three or four players. I think it was a three-player game. Um, in the, this is a dice drafting game where you put out a bunch of random dice on the board here, and on your turn, you're going to select a single row of dice, and you're going to name a number, and you will gain all dice that show that number, which feels really good when you can find a row in, when you can identify a row that has a lot of dice of that number. The catch though is that you only have two order cards at a time. Here's some examples of order cards. Uh, you only have two of them and you're trying to gain specific colors, not specific numbers of dice to place on these cards. So if I have these two cards, for example, I need a, some blue, I need a lot of green and I need a little bit of purple. And so if one of the dice that I gain, and this is my favorite mechanism here, if one of the dice that I gain is uh, is not one of those colors, is orange, for example. If I say, what is this, a four? So if I said four, I took a bunch of dice, different colors, and I gained that four die, because I cannot place it on my orders, I have to pass it, either clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on that stage of the game. Which means I pass it, that die, that extra die, to the next player, and they get to place that die, if they can, on one of their order cards. So there's this really nice sense of feeling powerful by choosing a number that works out and gives you a bunch of dice, but not feeling so powerful um, that you don't end up even helping out other players by doing so. It has this feel of positive player interaction where the choices you make can positively impact the other players. And it doesn't feel all that bad, really, to give the dice to other players because usually you're only doing that if you can get a lot of dice yourself. Um, and it also feels really, really good when it's not your turn. You haven't done anything. It's not your turn, but another player gains some excess dice and passes them to you. That feels really, really good in this game. Um, so yeah, not to look, it's, it's, it's a very simple streamlined game, but I really like that element of positive player interaction thrown in there. It, it just feels really, really good to, to get past those dice. And it doesn't feel bad when you have to pass the dice to other players because you went a little bit over the top. Um, yeah. That's it. It's a shorter video here, but that, that is my favorite me mechanism in, in Noctiluca. And uh, yeah, I'm really impressed by this abstract game design. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below if you can, if, if you've played Noctiluca or if you can think of another example of positive player interaction in a game that you've played recently. Thanks.